hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, my name is Chidi and I'm a lifestyle vlogger I make videos about my family motherhood and some bits of medical school so yeah welcome back I know I've been away for the for the longest time now I think my last video was posted like four months ago back in September if I remember correctly and since then I've not been able to like do anything on YouTube because life life just got busy you know life got busy and at some point i realized i couldn't juggle everything at once and yeah so this video basically is about telling you why i've been away and just give you an update on my life as well so yeah so guys uh just sit back and relax and enjoy this video and if you're new to my youtube channel please 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 hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel I love to have you here with me. Okay, so uh, and if you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Like, I really, really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. So now I'm just gonna give you an update on my life. I've got my talking points here because I don't wanna like you know derail a lot. So uh, first of all, I'm going to tell you guys why I've been away for a while. So. Uh, back in September, we had to go back to placement. So I started my final year in September last year and you know My fourth year was sort of like cut short due to coronavirus So we stopped placement at some point and back in March and then we were at home But in September we started finals and I had exams in January. So I had so much going on for me and prior to starting in September, I realized I was pregnant. I found out I was pregnant uh, back in June, July. So, um, so I was struggling with a whole lot of pregnancy symptoms, coupled with the toddler, and then you know revising for my January exams. So there was so much going on, and I thought to myself, I'll probably have to give up something because I just could not juggle, you know, childcare placements and being pregnant. It was a lot for me. So I just had to like come off YouTube for a while. Just to enable me like focus on um, you know other other aspects of my life so um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna let you guys know um, how I found out I was pregnant and how my pregnancy journey has been so it's just going to be very brief because obviously I can't say everything in this video so I think I found out I was pregnant um, before June because my baby turned a year old June last year so I found out like probably a month before I think I was a month pregnant before my um, baby's first birthday in June so I found out I was pregnant in May. It wasn't a surprise because it was a planned pregnancy. So I, I wanted to have, I wanted to like get pregnant um, around the time my baby turned one. So it worked out for me well in the sense that um, I got pregnant, I got what I wanted. So um, obviously like I, yeah, it wasn't a surprise. So I just, you know, I, I bought the thing, the pregnancy test just to like confirm my suspicions and yes, I, I realized I was pregnant and I was we were so excited about it because obviously it just works the way we wanted and uh, with this pregnancy um, I think I suffered a lot more uh, feeling sick I felt a lot more sick and I went off a lot of things so at that time during the summer time so June July August uh, in the first three months it was a bit difficult for me uh, I was you know very tired feeling nauseous but I never I, I, I never really vomit anyway but the feeling uh, the nausea feeling is very very overwhelming and it's not very pleasant so that was what I suffered mostly during the first three months so I think I'm lucky because I've um, heard and I've read about other pregnant uh, pregnant women's um, symptoms and it, it does seem that they get a lot more um, intense um, symptoms during the first three months or even throughout the pregnancy so I count myself lucky that I just tend to like suffer from uh, nausea and nothing much nothing nothing um, nothing more than that so yeah although it's very unpleasant but if I'm trying to compare myself to other pregnant women I know that I'm, I'm like my is lucky so obviously yeah so that's what happened then and so in September, I went back to uni for my finals and we started placements because um, I think from September, medical students were classed as uh, essential workers. So we had to go to, we had to go on placement even though there was like a bit of lockdown. 
uh, it didn't affect us in that sense so we were still like you know carrying on with everything uh, going on placements and most of the teaching we had done remotely and so yeah it was a lot for me then and obviously I had a toddler as well at home so it was overwhelming so that's why I didn't really I couldn't like I think you just even have the energy or the headspace to accommodate YouTube so that's probably why I stopped for a while so um so the placements yeah yeah so we and then I had exams as well guys yeah so that's the main thing so we started in September and I had I had my final exams in January so I I knew I needed to do a lot a lot more revision so like you know I could pass my exams first time I know I'm always like getting pregnant in medical school, medical school having to write my exams that's what happened with my first uh, child as well uh, I was pregnant in third year <laughs> and I uh, yeah and I uh, I was pregnant with him in third year and I did my exams as well I'm gonna link the video somewhere on the screen so you can go have a look watch that video if you haven't uh, watched it yet so this is my second pregnancy in medical school in my final year so I'm just gonna go back to um, explaining that um, I had exams in January of this year so which I had to focus on as well so um, obviously it was very it's very important to me that I pass my exams because uh, I'm pregnant and I'll be going on maternity leave as well so I just had to make sure I focus on the exams giving my best and pass so I can go on maternity leave which will make it like easier for me so when I get back after maternity leave I'll probably not have to write any more exams you know so that's why I just had to like you know put my all all my efforts all my efforts on revising for my final year exams so guys you see, you see there was just so much going on and that's probably the reason why I didn't focus I couldn't focus much on YouTube but yeah I've done my exams now this is February I've done my exams now and we're just waiting for the results to be back and um, yeah, so I've got some uh, free time on my hands now because um, I'm currently on maternity mm -hmm. leave and I'm waiting for my baby to arrive. So yeah, excited and I hope I'll be pushing out more videos out there, you know, see what happens. So, um, um, so yeah, I'm just thinking more about this maternity leave. It's quite scary, you know, because I think it's going to be different for me this time around. So when I had my baby last time in June of third year, I didn't really take a maternity leave. So people here normally take at least six months uh, maternity leave, uh, like the minimum. I know most uh, moms take, but in my third year, because I had my baby in June and I finished my exams in June as well. So I just used the summer holiday as my maternity leave. So July, August, September let's say two and a half months that I used as my maternity leave and then I went back to uni in September for four years so I didn't really have a proper maternity leave if that makes sense and yeah so that was it then so this year I was you know thinking I was going to do the same thing I wanted to like have my baby in February and then you know go back to starting work in August as a, as a, as a first year junior doctor so I just wanted to do everything because I didn't want to like uh, be you know losing a year I didn't just want to lose a year I just wanted to like you know have everything you know done and start with my mates but uh, I had a lot of discussions and with the medical school and I also had some reflections um, I also like did some deep thinking uh, I thought to myself you know what I have a lot of years to work there's so many years like in, you don't even retire to like 65 or 66 yeah so i said to myself oh my god i got like 40, 40 something years of it something years to work so why the rush i can always sacrifice this year and you know take care of my baby and also because i didn't really have um a year out with my first baby so i, I thought this was very important to actually take a year out with this baby and you know just stay at home and look after my baby because once this year is gone you will never get it back like now their babies and they're little like this is something you will never get back but like work is always there like, I have a lot of years to give to work anyway so uh, I'm just saying it now like it sounds easy but trust me 
it was very difficult to come to this decision like at some point i was not even having it i didn't even want to think about like you know not going back and starting work this um, um august i i just did not want to think about it but now after I, it took me like two or three months to like eventually come to a decision about um taking a year out and i'm satisfied with it now like i'm at, I'm at peace with the decision i've taken and i can't wait for my baby to come so uh, in, in that regard i won't be starting my uh, i won't be starting as a doctor this august as i should have so it's going to be um some august next year instead which is fine which is completely fine the most important thing for me is that i've done my finals i've done my exams and hopefully i pass and when I get back next day, just to do, finish my placements, I've got three more, uh, three more placements to do. So when I get back next day, just to do my three more placements, and I'll still be a doctor anyway. So, yeah, so that is that. So, guys, um, obviously, due to coronavirus, I couldn't have like a proper baby shower. You know, I was just planning, I was going to like, you know, take some pictures, do a maternity photo shoot. <laughs> Cause I didn't really have the chance to do it for, for to do it with my big first child. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't really have the chance to do it later. I think mainly because I put on a lot of weight. I left it too late because I realized most people do their maternity photo shoots around six months, around six months mark, seven months mark. When you haven't like you know put on so much weight, then you can do it then and just save the pictures. So you're ready to like release them. But because I was so busy there with uni, I didn't really have the time to like think about photo shoots, you know, think about outfits and all that. And then when I was ready, it was after my exam. That was like close to my due date, and I was so big, guys. I don't know. You need to go watch my. Um, it, it should be the uh, baby moon video. I'm going to link up there. You watch the baby moon video there. You'd understand what I'm saying. So I was so big, and when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like. Definitely not. I'm definitely not having this battery photo shoot. Like I look hideous. <laughs> so yeah. So that was what put me off having my battery photo shoot then. But this time around, I felt like I didn't put on so much weight like I did the last time. So um, I'm around 35 weeks now. So I have like five more weeks to go, and uh, I, I'm still okay. I'm strong, and I haven't put on that much weight. So. If I wanted to do a maternity photo shoot, obviously I would have done one by now. But I can't be bothered, man. I can't really. I don't. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like I'm just that kind of person that plans and plans and plans. And when it comes to execution, I'm like not bothered. Yeah. So that's it. So and this coronavirus, I, I thought I would have had a, a gender reveal, like a party with my friends and do a gender reveal, because I didn't do that on my first baby as well. But COVID, COVID, COVID wouldn't let me like, you know, do stuff that I planned on doing with this baby, but it's fine. So guys, I'm going to do my next video will be like letting you guys know what I'll be having in my next video. I'll let you guys know. And then um, I have bits and bobs to do. And um, my next video, that's my uh, my other videos will also be showing you how what I'm packing for my hospital bag, and how I'm preparing for this birth this time around. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and and if you did enjoy it, please subscribe. I hit the subscribe button, like and share my videos, and yes, I'll be back with more exciting videos. Bye.